Let's do a segment, okay? Here we Let's go. Let's do a segment. Listen, we're a big seg show. Love seg. Love some good seg. Nothing yeah. better. Isn't it? Isn't it a show that <laughs> yes. really loves segs? Every Live day we it. come in, what, hey, we do. what seg can we do today? There's a lot of shows in sports media that do segs. Mm -hmm. They live and die by their segs. We don't like to waste our segs. We like to have segs when segs are great. That's right. And let me tell you about some great seg that I thought of last night while I was watching the second night of the NHL season. Hell yeah. You know, I realized quickly on this particular program, now that we're on ESPN, shout out for having us. Thank you for allowing Thanks us for in every airport, cafe, what? diner, what? building, what? school, what? you name it. We're all over the place. There's a lot of people that have never seen hockey before. Hmm. There's a lot of people that know nothing about hockey. So I wanted to make a great seg called Hockey is Awesome. Okay, yeah. you need to know this. Now, obviously, the players on this graphic are absolute studs. Awesome. There's the next one, Connor Bedard. He's going to be a part of this Hockey is Awesome seg in just a second. Old buddy here, Stoner, Stanley Cup champion, wow. captain, first ever captain, Las Vegas Golden Knights. That, Sidney Crosby, top three player all time, forever will be, 18 years in the league, has been called the king of hockey since he's 12, has maintained the amount of dignity and class Unbelievable. that you would hope for. From a politician mm. in the position yep. that he has been in. A real inspiration. Over there, Pasta. He was minus 140 to score a goal last night. That is very rare. Yeah. He scored two. That is what he does. He scores goals. He's also the leader of the team that had the greatest regular season in the history of hockey. Hell yeah. Last year's Boston Bruins. Woo! Congrats. Love you, Pasta. It was a great regular season. Grace. And then down here is the greatest goal scorer in the history of hockey. Now, people are going to say Wayne Gretzky, but OV right here is on track to become the greatest shooter and goal scorer of all time. Also, owner of the greatest celebration of a championship in history. Yeah. He and Lord Stanley Cup drank. Uh, we just. They had a time. Assume vodka. I mean, that's yeah, that's the go-to. Yeah, I would assume yeah. what yeah. in the country he's from. I would assume they drink it like water. I've been told. Bingo. And then me just saying they. I guess there's some group of people that'll get pissed off. But I've heard they sons of no, bitches he loves vodka. He loves and he did that for about two weeks straight with Lord Stanley Cup when he finally was able to get over the hump. Uh, this guy right here, finally. who's not only a gold winner, gold cup, everything champion right yeah. here. Yeah. Now. For those that don't know hockey, let me just show you something, two things, three things that happened last night, one night of hockey, that will restore your faith in humanity, competition, and sport. Right. Now, obviously, hockey has incredible goals. Where we're about to showcase right here, Connor Bedard's first goal as an NHL player. He's 18 years old. He's got dangles. Woo. He's got behind-the-back passes. He's got a shot, rebound, wraparound, goal! Hell yeah! Wow. Connor Bedard! This will be a moment that will go down in NHL history as Connor Bedard's first goal. And it happened in Boston, the same place that is great great uncle oh. scored his oh, first goal really? 1,000 years ago That's or something cool. like that. Now, in this same exact game, a situation popped up that I said to myself, hockey is awesome. Because mm -hmm. in the world that we live in nowadays, there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of barking. There's not a lot of biting. There's a lot of fugues. There's a lot of grandstanding, high horsing, but nobody actually means what they say. Everybody's just trying to get a pop for clout. Everybody's just trying to say what they think is the right thing to say. They very rarely do what they say they're going to do. There's no walking of the walk. There's a lot of talking of the talk, and I think we're all kind of fed up with it, especially as old school individuals. Hockey's old school. Boom. Look at yeah. this situation right here. Beecher, this guy, first NHL game for the Boston Bruins. Jeez. Chief shots a guy, boards a guy, but that's not the story. No, no, the story is look at Dickinson coming. Oh, we have to fight. That is literally yeah. what Dickinson said there. You take a cheap shot on my guy, we have to fight. Go back to the beginning of this video, Foxy. Look at the instant reaction, okay? Beecher, boarding, penalty. Scumbag move. But he did it to set the tone for the Boston Bruins fan. That's the type of guy you're getting, he said. Hell yeah. I'll be a tough guy. Look at this guy. Oh, we got to fight. You do that to my guy, 
I am fighting you. There was never a doubt. There was no hesitation. It was just a, well, we're fighting now because of what you did to my friend. There needs to be more of that in mm -hmm. our society. If you think back to Andy Dalton getting his head yeah. taken off as the Dallas Cowboys quarterback, nobody did a single nope. thing. Nope. When Travis Hunter got that late shot of Colorado State, I know they've made up for it. The only person that got in Cuzzy's face, Shador Sanders, old school guy. We've gone away from protecting our friends, from protecting our teammates. Hockey has never forgotten that if you mess with my guy, I have to punch your face yep. in, regardless of it. Speaking of punching faces in, they still have fights. They still have fights that are being pumped up about. This man, Lafriere, he is fighting for the Los Angeles Kings. This is his first hockey game. His family is in the stands. This dude went to Harvard. Big brain fella, slugging it out with the avalanche. Hey, eating some, getting some, Ooh. giving some. Sticks, club, oh, hip tackle. Hell yeah. And then look at his family. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. This is his family right here. You go to the first game yes. for like football or baseball or any of these other sports. The family's like nervous as hell, <laughs> scared to death. Lafriere, a guy that went to Harvard out of New Jersey, his family went ape shit because he fought somebody and took the guy to the ground. And that, my friends, is the hockey culture. And that is why I think if you're not a hockey fan, you need to buy in. The humans are awesome. The sport is fantastic. And the league is only going to be yodely, 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 as it continues to be on all the networks that showcase sports. So shout out to hockey and shout out to a great seg. Great Hawking seg. Is awesome. hey, great stick, stick, tap. Tap. stick, stick tap. tap. Great seg. That was awesome. The, the family reaction was absolutely awesome. I love that hockey still has it. Yeah, if you run one of our guys, you're going to have to fight. The only time I saw that this year in the NFL, I think, was when Herbert got leveled on the sideline. Yes. And the entire yeah. Chargers totally. uh, team came over, which was awesome. But that family thing was the coolest thing I've seen in a, in a while. His family going ape shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's our boy yeah. fighting somebody. Get him. And there's people that are going to say, oh, there's no dignity in fighting. Barbaric. Says who? I disagree completely. If it's expected and the other team knows it's going to happen, as long as it's not a cheap shot and it's respectful, stick taps. This goes back yeah. to the beginning of time. Back in the day, people had differences. You know what they would do? All What's right, that? let's do it. Let's just figure this out. We'll get past it. We'll move on. Hockey still has it. Now, I do have to tell people. What? What's that? Dickinson, the Chicago Blackhawk guy who said, oh, is that right? And then went in yeah. and fought for him. Yeah. He ended up getting like 45 minutes worth of penalties <laughs> because I guess the NHL doesn't want hockey to be awesome anymore. Yeah, and yeah. the hockey players well, say, we don't care. We're still going to do it. It's an instigating penalty is what it's called, Nick? Is what it's called? Yeah, so for that last night, uh, obviously they both get five minutes for the actual fight, but Dickinson gets a two-minute minor for the instigator penalty. And on top of that, whenever – On all Player safety is definitely not a concern. Watch your mouth, Chuck. Hey, Chuck, come on. Watch your mouth. You, you suit. You suit. Yeah. Just you like suit. sound like an hey, old white. Yeah, you I do sound question. like. Why don't you, you drop look an like blood man? Yeah. Is, yeah. Nick, is there fines? Because you know you always no. hear about the fines that are levied in the National Football League, but you never no. read like on pro football, hockey enough. talk, whatever. It, do they find these guys? No. Oh yeah, they find them. But the the players have a pretty strong union, so they collectively bargain that all these fines are relatively small. So it's, we're talking like twenty five hundred bucks. For, for a lot of this stuff. Listen, there might be people that don't know the sport because they grew up in a place where it wasn't, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of those cities where Tom. hockey's not a thing. I'm lucky to be from Pittsburgh where there's a lot. He's from Boston, mm -hmm. obviously a lot. He's a coastal elite, so there's a bunch of teams up there. He's from Pittsburgh. He's from Detroit. He's from Chicago. He's from Canada mm -hmm. uh, back there. So we got a lot of hockey town yeah. people. Of hockey but town. there's a lot of... Where are you from? You don't oh, like yeah. hockey. You just tried to, yeah. you just tried to ban... You tried right? to ruin the yeah. game. Yeah. You're trying to ruin Who's the game. your team? I'm all for it. No, that's not that. exactly oh, what it used to be. Hey, oh, we're man. bare knuckling it. Let's go figure this out. And it wasn't guns. It wasn't not. It was a fist fight. Bingo. Yeah. And we couldn't sue each and other. And now you're like, player safety. Yeah, yeah, you're, trying to, yeah, you're talking like a guy yeah. who died. But anyway, Penalties maybe. also. Uh, Minga, this chair is getting beat up around. this week. There was no advantage. So Beecher got a penalty as well. 
So there wasn't like a power play for Boston, if if you will. But for the there. people that don't know hockey, like get into it. Pick a team and go. So fun. It is awesome. It's electrifying. It's on on nights where there isn't football normally. Like you have something to do. The teams play a lot of games. There's a lot of stars. And hockey players aren't sitting out. Ever. They, they ever. They stand these dudes up. There was a story last year in the playoffs. I think for the kid down in Matt, Florida. Yeah, Florida. Matthew Kachuk. Kachuk, where he had a broken back, I think. Sternum. 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 Broken sternum. And they had to actually they put the skates on while he was sitting down. And they had to lift him up, and then they just kind of shoot him out onto the ice. And that was for a playoff game. And he went out there and did his thing, and he couldn't sit down. So if he sat down, they had to lift him back up again for the entire thing. Like, the mindset of hockey players, the culture of hockey, everything about it is something that I think a lot of people would love. And the sport holds up. If you give it some time, the sport will certainly yeah. dazzle you. We should tell people, if, you are, if you're not into it and you're going to pick a team, don't. Don't pick Phoenix because they might not be around, and don't pick the Detroit Red Wings because they stink. Well, yeah. that's not true. Yeah, that's very that's true. Just yeah, not that, true. That's just not true. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. And don't one of the all. best parts about hockey, too, you you mentioned it before when we were in the Stanley Cup. After the Stanley Cup and the playoffs are over, you're going to get about, you know, I, I want to say 10 to 15 life-threatening injuries yeah. that these guys had while they were still playing hockey. It's a beautiful sport. It is awesome. And since we're here, we have the access to all the NHL stuff. Yeah. Right. We never used to be able to run clips. Now we can run clips. It's like, that? let's go. Now I'm excited to see what the ratings did. You know. Yeah, I assumed a lot of oh, people. Oh, they're going to be so good. Major spike. I don't know. I, don't what know. The, I mean, the ratings, history. are those real too? Uh, 